adding a drawing sheet to a project. We're going to add a drawing sheet. We're going to go up to the View tab. We're going to go over to the Sheet Composition panel. Over here, we're going to click on our sheet. So, we hover over Sheet, click on it. It'll say New Sheet. We select the title block that we're interested in. Right now, this is a E1 30 by 42, sometimes known as a construction size. Um, but we don't have any others. Um, so we need to load in some title blocks. We're going to go and click in load. And then once we're in load, we need to go into our US Imperial. And then we got to go down to title blocks. Click in title blocks. And then we have the variety of title block sizes. I'm going to load in a B size. And I'm going to hold down the control key and select a D size. So small format and large format documents. I'll say open. Now I have those sizes loaded in. So at this time I'm going to load in my D size and I will say OK. And you'll notice it automatically pops in a title block. Now as I go over into my uh, manage tab and I go to my project information, I can set all the information in this dialog box for my entire project. So my identity data, this is basically the identity of this uh, organization, that the consultant group, the architects. Uh, so this is, you know, architects, ABC architects, or, you know, uh, we build, we design and build them, or whatever, building name you know, office building, and the author is Bordeaux. Now we can set the energy settings, what type of energy settings it is. So we can set up the different types of information on what type of energy it is. And then we put in the project, you know, what kind of project, who's the client, the project address. All this information will be populated into every sheet in each title block. So as we put 30, 40 sheets in our drawing, we only have to fill this out once. If we make a change, it'll change it to every title block. It's critical you fill this out. If you fill out the project properties, then it will automatically be put into our title blocks. Uh, likewise, you could actually go and, and zoom in on one of these things, and you could put in the owner name right here. Um, however, I highly recommend that you put it into the project information, uh, which is located under manage over here in the project information and you apply that information and so all these sheets will be uh, created once you have the sheet you'll come down here and we have a sheet listed here is unnamed I haven't named the sheet yet so I haven't filled out my information yet um, Revit will fill out all the sheets such as the sheet number uh, you know, and the dates and things are autom they'll go automatically will be populated in here. Um, so we don't have to worry about certain things, but we do need to enter in all the consultant email address and phone numbers and all these types of things. Uh, we do have to, to fill that out. So I'll zoom out a little bit and uh, we can of course customize our title blocks if we want to go into our family editor and edit those types of things. But that's a whole different ball game. So we're going to use just the standard title blocks that are provided with Revit.